This is just gonna be too red. I can just see it. I'm gonna be so upset if it's too red. Like, hi guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ohema. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. Okay. <laughs> I realized that I have not been very consistent do reviewing products for you guys. There's a few products that need to be reviewed before it's too late. This one that I'm gonna review is a little behind, but it's still like fairly new. I haven't actually heard a lot of people talking about it, so I'm gonna do a video on that, okay? Okay, so since we're all stuck in quarantine still, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, you guys, so Bite Beauty sent us a box. Um, I know that they probably have like several different boxes that they sent to influencers depending on the skin tone of that influencer. I feel like they sent me the medium deep kit instead of sending me the deep kit. So I actually reached out and asked for the deeper shades. I only got one sent back out to me. So hopefully the one that I got sent out would work. But this is the box that I got in. Okay, it says Bite Beauty on it. It comes with, looks like so. And it has the three foundations that they thought would match my skin. It has the primers here. And if you pull this, you get some lippies. And then over here, you have lip masks over here, okay? So let me go ahead and tell you guys which shades they sent to me. I'm gonna swatch them for you. And then I will try to do a skin routine with the last one they sent me and we can see how that works, okay? I'm really hesitant doing this video because like I said, I feel like I was sent the wrong box. Okay, so the box I was sent was part of the Change Maker Complexion System. And in that system, they have primers, they have foundation, they have pressed flexible coverage pressed powders and then they have obviously the lipsticks and the lip masks. So the primers are called the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primers and they have two primers. They have a mattifying primer and an oily skin primer. A mattifying and oily skin? No, 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 no. <laughs> They have a mattifying primer and a hydrating primer, okay? And then the foundations are called the Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation with Power Pure Maqui? Maquai? Berry? Maquai? I think it's Maquai. It could be Maqui. I don't know. But it says, it says that the micellar technology, the gentle micellar technology gives it a skin-like look or a skin-like finish. It's actually a natural finish. They have 32 shades and it's a medium buildable coverage foundation, okay? Now the deepest foundation they have is D185. I don't have that to show you, but I do have the next deepest shade, which is D180. So I'm gonna swatch D180 and this is D170. So D180 is described as a rich deep with cool undertone. So this is gonna be the one that I use for you guys today, okay? Okay guys, so I'm gonna swatch this sh shade for you since we only have the one shade that we're gonna be swatching. This one is D180 and it's a cool tone foundation. I'm just always so afraid to just do like a full skin routine using a product that I don't know how it's gonna behave, especially if the swatch is not so reassuring. Do you know what I mean? Like if I don't feel like I can use this, it just makes me it makes it very scary for me to try to put that all over my face because I'm afraid it's gonna make my face come out too red. The Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. This one is Deep One. Okay, so this is deep two, this is deep two, and this is deep one, two and one. Okay, deep two, deep one. So guys, these are a little alarming. Pray for me. I don't know how this is gonna go. So if you will, 
pray for me, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and use these and see how it looks. I'm a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried about this, but hopefully it's gonna be better than what I think it's gonna be. I'm putting some of this lip mask on. This is an agave lip mask. Okay, so the only way you can tell the difference is the ring around here, it says oily, it says normal to oily or normal to dry skin. So I'm gonna use the normal to oily one and it's another squeeze bottle. Okay, let's see how this works. I know I don't skimp on primer, but I think I put too much on my face. I don't believe in too much primer, but it's so creamy. It feels like moisturizer. And I think this is the excess. I'm just gonna put it back on my hand and see what happens after I blend this one in. Okay, turns out I'm still gonna need a little bit more of the primer from the back of my hand. You know what, it's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be too much, but the way the primer blends in, it blends in like lotion. So it doesn't end up looking, it doesn't end up feeling like you use too much. And I can definitely tell that my skin is I mean, you can also you can also see that my skin is not like as shiny or as reflective, but it's not like white. Looks good. You can still see the specks of glitter on my face. I can't help that. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, so let's just keep it going. So this is the shade D180. D180 is a little scary for me. So what I'm gonna do is apply some to the back of my hand. This is just gonna be too red. I can just see it. I'm gonna be so upset if it's too red. Like, ugh. My eye look is not gonna go to waste, okay? Okay, so I'm using the Colored Rain Orange Sponge and I'm blending this in. Okay, it's not blended in properly. Okay, what's going on? I don't know if it's because of the matte uh, primer underneath. But for a second, it felt like it didn't want to blend. Or it could be because my sponge is not entirely so damp. So I'm gonna spray it a little bit. Hopefully that would like... I just used the Too Faced spray. The Too Faced spray is um, hydrating, so maybe that defeated the whole purpose of the matte foundation, of the matte primer, but... So I feel like because of the shade of it it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not as it's not as bad as i thought it would be it blended in better than i thought it would i don't know if it's because it is a medium coverage foundation or what but these glitter specks man they're not going anywhere I mean, you can tell that it's medium because you can still see the acne scars on my or the acne marks on my face Charlie all I have to say is I was this close to just bashing the foundations like I thought it was gonna be too red I'm 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 at a loss for words because what I expected to happen didn't happen and now I don't know what to say. So I went in thinking I was gonna come out like swinging. It, bl it blended out into a better uh, shade than I thought it would. Um, I honestly thought it was going to look really, really red. I, I feel like because it's a medium coverage foundation, that's why it doesn't look half as red as I thought it was gonna look. But it did say that it was it was a cool tone foundation, so that may be why, but I honestly expected it to look a lot worse than it's actually looking right now. So about the coverage, it looks good. It is a medium coverage foundation because you can still see the marks that I have on this side of my face. Um, other than that, this literally does look like my skin. It looks like this is how my face looks. I feel like this foundation is just 
meant to help you balance out your skin tone and not like literally look cakey on you and I'm not mad at it. We have these pressed powders. I'm very sure you, you can use pressed powders as your as your setting powder. Um, but the way these pressed powders are set up, one is just brighter than the other one. And I thought the deep two was supposed to be the deeper one. So this is deep two and this is deep one. There's a slight difference between the two. I feel like this is warmer and this is cooler. But if you're looking at it on camera, you can't really tell the difference between the two. Okay, so I'm using deep two to set my under eyes. Oh my God, I've never like so fully embraced another powder to use on my face. This is not bad. If anything, I feel like it matches the concealer shade a lot better. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. It doesn't look, it, didn't, it doesn't look crazy. Okay, I think it looks really good. The flexible coverage pressed powder says a clean talc free powder made with finely milled volcanic minerals to blur, mattify, and touch up on the go. Okay, and the one that I use today is actually deep too. I don't know how someone who is deeper than me would be able to use this powder, but I know that if you're lighter than me, you'll definitely be able to use this and pack it on. But if you're using if you're using it as a mattifying powder, it doesn't look to be show like it doesn't do you see this? Like it says it's 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 just mattifying my skin. It's really not changing anything from what I can see. Okay you guys, so this is the finished skin look. Of course you've seen this look already, but this is the finished skin look. And I think my skin looks really, really good. I didn't think that the the base would look am as amazing as it does, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. It really, really like, like it's stuck to my skin. It looks good. The matte primer I will definitely be using more of and I feel like on days that I want a medium coverage foundation, I will be reaching for Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I will definitely be reaching for this. There are a few lip options in the box that I will swatch for you guys on a different day because I feel like this look is like so out there that if I try to swatch a lip with, we will be comparing it to how it looks with the eye. So I will just swatch the lips for you on a different day, okay? So well, there's another shade after D180 and you saw how the matte primer performed on my skin. I really like it. I like how it feel. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't make you look casket ready. It doesn't make you look white in the face or tight or any of that, okay? And my skin really does look, you are watching this in 4K. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried the Change Maker Collection, either the primer, the foundation, the lippies, or the intensive lip mask. I don't think the lip mask is new. But let me know if you've tried anything from Bite Beauty and what you think about it. I really, really absolutely was ready to bash Bite because of the shades I was looking at from the outside of the packaging. But once I blended it in, I was really super surprised. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.